I have that question for you. Do you have memories from other Jurassic movies? I mean, the cup with the water, that was in the trailer. Because mm -hmm. this was an event for me mm -hmm. as a kid. It was like the first event movie of my life. I remember seeing the trailer and it was like, <laughs> and the cup was vibrating and the, the surface of the water was rippling. I remember that moment very much. I remember when the lawyer sits down on the toilet and then the dinosaur rips everything around him and he's just him praying on the toilet <laughs> and then he, right before he gets eaten. <laughs> that was pretty good. What do you think the key is to increasing suspense? How do you do that so that it doesn't seem contrived? I, I think you imagine yourself a child in that scenario every time around. And I think that, you know, the fear that you had when you were a kid, it wasn't rationalized by all the things you've learned about the safety precautions we have in place to protect us as humans. Yeah. And so I think if you imagine yourself an eight-year-old, uh, whether, you know, you're in a, in a freezer on the edge of a, a boat and a shark's trying to get you, I think the reaction that a child would give is going to be the most honest <laughs> and real and elemental that you could possibly come up with. <laughs> I directed the whole movie as a child. Really? Absolutely. That is interesting. You remember. Seriously, yeah. though, I really did. Like, I felt like the, the entire experience uh, to be able to enter the world through the eyes of a child as we go to the park with these kids and all the way down to your relationship uh, with Bryce. I feel like it's the way that kids think adults talk to each other. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? It means I'm ready to go. OK. See their faces in. and the roof behind them. Correct. So the roof, that goes a, down. a weight comes through the roof, which is supposed to be a dinosaur head. I imagine there's a beat or two right in the ixnay of the Amscray, yes. and then this car goes flying. Ready and action. <laughs> action. We'll do the push and the hand up. <laughs> Once the dinosaur lands right here, he's on top of the guy, right? So it's like boom, right in our face. <laughs> These really incredible and wonderfully talented people who are the best in the business have rated the dinosaurs that look better than anything you have ever seen in your life. These dinosaurs have personality and life, and we created real characters with them. It's bigger than me. It's bigger than what we did. It's spectacular. The dinosaurs just look a lot more realistic than they ever have been before. What that adds up to for the audience is they're just a heck of a lot scarier. It all starts on the set. It all starts with how the dinosaur is going to fit in the scene and even how the actors are reacting to it. They have to know just where to look. They have to know what degree of fear they're supposed to be. So we do what we can to make that part of it the best it possibly can be. So we've got the best material to work with. 